Fast, fast, accurate. With Rick Schutt, you're watching WSBT 22 News at 11. Millions of dollars. Visit South Bend Mishawaka says that's how much money college graduations brings into our area each year. WSBT 22's James Fillmore is at the Update Center right now. And James, people are coming to town this weekend for Notre Dame and St. Mary's graduation. Yeah, some hotels are completely booked, Rick. Plus, many restaurants have limited seating available this weekend. A lot of businesses say college graduation time is a big moneymaker. So far, this year is off to a better start than the last. Around 33,000 people will come to St. Joseph County this month for a college graduation. One of them is Issa Diaz. She's from Miami. Her daughter is graduating from Notre Dame this weekend. We're staying at the Doubletree Hotel, which is very nice. And we decided to take a walk and look at the little downtown shops and see what we find. What they found were several restaurants to eat in, some stuff to buy at the Notre Dame bookstore, and even something to remember South Bend when they get back to Miami. We went to the chocolate shop and bought some chocolate to take back home. The owner of Yummy Cupcakes in downtown South Bend says their business is up about 20%. Graduation ranks up there with Valentine's Day, which is huge. He says they got a lot of pre-orders, but they also have many people coming in off the street. A lot of people instead of cake options they like to go with the cupcakes they have us decorate them with all kinds of things from hats with tassels um, to Notre Dame streamers the Indiana Rug Company, a textile boutique, is also in downtown South Bend. An employee estimates business during graduation time increases about 40 percent, but that's not the only benefit. More awareness of our boutique because like a lot of people are like, oh, I've never noticed you were here. And like, yeah, so it just helps a lot. A lot of businesses in downtown South Bend are also thankful for something else, power. Last year at this time, the downtown was in the dark during Notre Dame graduation weekend. It cost some businesses hundreds. The positive economic impact isn't totally widespread. Several shops in downtown Mishawaka say they don't really see an increase in foot traffic or sales during any of the college graduation weekends. One of the shop owners thinks most people stick around the mall area if they are in Mishawaka. At the Update Center, James Fillmore, WSBT 22 News.